after that massive long haul of winter it's actually warm in the evening here we are maybe doing some playing on Sunday afternoon it's Friday Easter weekend uh, it's a cider festival here at the Yew Tree Inn <laughs> We're trying a new position today. Um, Keisha's got a mat up on this seat and we're going to see she's strapped onto, obviously got a harness on under this fluff and we'll see if she likes that because she likes to look out the windows and uh, And I think she likes it, but we'll see when we get moving. Hello, everyone. Hello. We are on our way to um, a cider festival. I think I've got my Friday t-shirt on for Good Friday. And uh, yeah, we're on the way to meet some friends um, and have a weekend of cider music and fun. And the sun's shining. And we'll uh, catch up with you later. See you later. Revelation about Keisha. Can you see her? Hello, Keisha Bear. Joys of travelling on our Easter bank holiday. You also notice that the, the head unit is still busted. Um, this was due to um, us putting the van in with our comprehensive warranty, um, which covers everything except entertainment systems or anything else that might have gone wrong. Which is, uh, uh, so we're gonna have to put a new one in. So at the moment, we're on uh, a phone for navigation and we put the uh, the Bluetooth speaker in the front if we want any if we want any music. Um, so, but the good news is I've got um, the guitars and mandolin uh, with us for this weekend, um, which can never be claimed to be entertainment music systems. So, um, hopefully, the insurance will cover them. And Leslie said, "Guys, your socks are on fire." <laughs> getting some lunch in the fast food restaurant about 20 minutes ago but that would normally be because she's the only person in the universe that has a filet o fish did you get your filet Dos. two yeah. good one downside with the <clears throat> fiat de Carto, it's only got one cup holder at the front but it does unusually have a chip holder. Back on the road. What's this treat? with a little friend Meg look at that amazing little dog walk for drinking it is oh very nice it's a little bit darker. It's not like a... That's not fizzy medium cider. That's yeah, it's like, one. Because he likes the dark fruit and you don't do that, do you? No, I mean, what I can do is I can do Great. a bit. Oh, it won't be, um, yeah. So what's happening? Well, I have made a curry. 
So we didn't really know what the catering facilities were for this weekend or catering requirements. We could have got pizza, but I'd already made a curry. Here's the curry. Yeah. You don't want to do four generations. Where are we going? Going out. Go to party. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. You got a cup of tea. And no hangover. Why? I don't know. I don't know. And there's very strong cider. Yeah, it was a good night. But there must not be lots of preservatives in the cider. Which give you a take. No, I was quite surprised with the site because I thought it was going to be just like a big field. I didn't realise it was going to be like civilised with hard stone. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can do a run around later. Is ya? Induction breakfast. We have to jack it dead flat because the van isn't, we didn't level the van particularly well, but this is like absolutely slippery surface. So, got the extension out with the trivet. And mushroom. Pros and cons on the induction? Well, it has to be dead flat, which the band isn't quite dead flat. Um, you've only got one ring, so you have to be a bit more canny about what you're cooking and what order. And but um, yeah, it's free, isn't it? So yeah, if you're going to pay for a hookup, then you might as well conserve gas where you can. Got me mushrooms. I just need to heat them through at the end. I've got more a few other things I need to. The bacon will be going on top of the mushrooms in a minute and it will all be heated up at the end. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Going for a shower. What do you want me to do? Uh, can you lower this table so I can... Oh yeah. Ooh. Getting out the van. Right, see you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Yes, what's the review? I'm sure Very you'll nice. do a more comprehensive later. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. And I have cleared up everything. That brown door on the end, if you go in there, Yes. the first door is like a nice shower. But it's like really... Like is it fancy. unisex? Yes. What? Is, but you're on your own? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're <laughs> on your own. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. Very nice. There's like a little little miniature place in there as well with books. Uh, oh. Jesus. The waspies are out already. Huh? Where'd he go? In up there. To build a nest, I suppose. Uh. Hello. Blue head over there whose hands are over 
side. I got the full blown home grown old cashew blues. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh. Very impressive side of the collection. Oh, we do. with my contact lenses I couldn't take my contact lens out and then I consequently had to go to sleep with it in and then it came out in the middle of the night but it was really sore and now all my eyes swollen <laughs> and I made a cucumber with a slice of cucumber with a holder, a holder. On. my husband made me a cucumber holder <laughs> Is it salubrious? <laughs> Note to self, this was me being lazy when we got here, thinking we didn't need to level the van. Obviously. No, so now what we're doing is just levelling this because it's very shiny and now that's not moving or it's skating around yesterday. Well, because it's Easter. <laughs> I'm having my eggs before my breakfast. <laughs> Happy Easter, everyone. So, I'll give you a quick walk around the campsite while it's quiet and everyone's at the pub. So, that's the pub behind me, the yew tree, Peter Stowe, I think it's called. There's our there's our units for the weekend. Um, I'm just going to flip you around. Okay, so here's the campsite. It's nice, um, hard standing, so it's a intrude. There's our other units that are with us. Heimer there. And I'll take you where to where all the facilities are. So there's a very basic looking gents toilet, but I think they're all haven't had any complaints from anyone about those. There's a washing up area, a notice board, tap and L fan, and there's tap. There's your Elsan, and then you go up here, and up here is some quite civilised facilities. Let's open the door. So we have leaflets, DVDs, books, inside washing up area, and draining board. Um, and then in here, have a very nice power shower that is very nice it's that morning toilets the toilets wash basins all very clean well looked after then in here there's like a like a wet room So yeah, very nice. I would say it's a really nice campsite and I'll get Steve to update the cost of it. I don't know what it costs, but it's basically a cider farm with, with some decent facilities. Very nice. Yeah, can't fault it really. Very lovely.
at the break of day. John Kanaka Naka to Ryan. We're bound to Is that yet? Yeah. 